Hello dear student, welcome to DHU Labs. As I receive lot of comments from the student, please start the new MCQ series of the SCADA, DCS and controller. Among them, today I will start the new MCQ series of controller. The part 1 includes 20 question. Before starting this description, if you not like, share and subscribe my channel, please I request you, please subscribe it. I also request you, please visit my website dhulabs.in for more information. Question number 1. The controller is used to Option A. Reduce effect of the disturbance Option B. Control the system Option C. Generate the control signal for the achieving the desired goal Option D. All of this The answer is option number D that is all of this. See the controller is device it may be analog or digital it receives the error signal and based on that error signal it generates the control action. Control command is given to the final control elements of the plant and by help of this control action we achieving our desired goal and if the disturbance are there the effect of the disturbance is reduced or eliminated by the controller. So here the selection criteria of the controller is very important there are the different type of controllers are available and based on our controller selection the effect of the disturbance is reduced. Question number two. Continuous controllers means option A. The controller will generate same output at different error signal. Option B. The controller will generate two position output at different error signal. Option C. The controller will generate unique output at different error signal. And option number D. None of these. The answer is option number C that is a controller which generate unique output at the different error signal. See here continuous means that means what every unique error have the some unique output. So that is a due to that we can say it is a continuous. Okay. So if error are changes continuously the output is always provide here continuous form. Okay. That is a unique output. It is a differ at different different value of the error. Question number three. Discontinuous controller means option A. The controller will generate same output at different error signal. Option B. The controller will generate two position output at different error signal. Option C. The controller will generate unique output at different error signal. And option D, none of this. So here the answer is option number B, that is the controller will generate two position output at different error signal. On this continuous type controller are classified into different category like on off controller, on off controller with neutral zone, then multi position controller and multi position with neutral zone. This type of classification are available. But here there is a multi position controller are not available, only two position uh, outputs are available. So here the output is a option number B that is a controller with generate two position output at different error signal. Question number four. Which of the following are continuous type controller? Option A proportional, option B on off, option C on off with neutral zone, option D none of these. The answer is option number A that is a proportional. See in proportional controller every unique value of the error that is a unique controller output. Okay. So it is a continuous type controller.
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर डीज कंटिन्यूस टाइप कंट्रोलर ऑप्शन ए मल्टी पोजिशन ऑप्शन बी ऑन ऑफ ऑप्शन सी ऑन ऑफ विथ न्यूट्रल जोन ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ दिस The answer is option number D. That is all of this. See, in this case, the discontinuous type controller, in particular, some range of the error, they provide particular position. Okay, in on-off position, it provides only on position when the or off position depending on the error. If error is greater than the zero, then it provides the on, and if error is less than zero, then it provides the off condition like this. So here, these all options are considered as a discontinuous type controller. Question number six. Which of the following are continuous type controller? Option A, proportional. Option B, proportional integral. Option C, proportional integral and derivative. And option D, all of these. The answer is option number D. That is all of this. See in here the proportional, then PI and PID. These all are classified into category of the continuous. Okay, every unique error they generate unique output. Okay, so it is a called continuous type controller. Question number seven. The on-off controller option A generates the same output at different error signal. Option B generate only two position output at the different error signal. Option C generate unique output at different error signal. Option D none of these. So here the answer is it generates only two position output at different error signal. That means if error is greater than particular value or we can say zero, then it provides the on position that is hundred percent on, and if it is a less than zero, then it provides the off position or we can say off condition. So answer is option number B. Question number eight: the multi position controller. Option A generates the same output at different error signal. Option B generate only two position output at different error signal. Option C generate more than two position output at the different error signal. Option D none of these. C. The answer is option number C. That is, it generates more than two position output at different error signal. So see here, they are classified into different error. Okay, with respect to error, they are classified. So if error is between E1 to E E2, then particular one position output is there. If E between E2 to E3, then another output is there. E3 to E4, then another output is there. Position output is there, like that. So it it's called multi position controller. So answer is option number C. That is a generate more than two position output at different error signal. Question number nine. The on-off controller have blank compared to on-off controller with dead zone. 
ऑप्शन ए लेस ऑसिलेशन ऑप्शन बी हायर ऑसिलेशन ऑप्शन सी नो ऑसिलेशन ऑप्शन डी नॉन ऑफ दिस The answer is option number B that is a higher oscillation. See in the on off controller there is a neutral zone is not used that is a dead zone is not used. So dead zone that is a there is a around the some tolerance band. So here if so if the process value is greater than set point value then it provide the high output otherwise it provide the low output. And if there is a some 0.0, .0 something is there error so it provide the continuously on off on off condition. If based on that if the error is a greater than 0 0.001 then it's also kind of going on the on condition. Condition, and if the error is less than 0.001 then it's provide the off condition so here the chattering problem are coming near to the set point value okay so it is a necessary for that we can put some dead zone effect here to remove the effect of this oscillation around the set point value okay so here when you are using the on off controller without the dead zone then oscillation are higher Question number 10. The on off controller with the dead zone have blank compared to on off controller. Option A less oscillation. Option B higher oscillation. Option C no oscillation. Option D none of this. The answer is less oscillation. So hope you receive very good information from this video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel DAJU Labs. Thank you very much for watching.